Hello everyone! Today we are going to read the story The Great Kapok Tree by Lynn Cherry. Take a look at this map. In green you can see the tropical rainforests of the world and around the edge you can see animals which inhabit the rainforest. Pause the video here. Which animals can you see? Are you sitting comfortably? Let's begin. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with the sound of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now, all was quiet. The creatures watched the two men, wondering why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to the great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the axe he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack! 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 The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop! 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 The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack! Chop! Whack! Chop! Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and the hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this claypot tree. I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. A group of monkeys scampered down from the canopy to the sleeping man. They chattered to the sleeping man, Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rain comes, the soil will be washed away, and the forest will turn to desert. A toucan, a macaw and a cock of the rock flew from the canopy. Senor, squawked the toucan, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest to see what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Many people have settled on land. They set fires to clear the underbush and soon forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smouldering ruins remain. A bright snow tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear. Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. Many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great paypock tree. A jaguar had been sleeping along the branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light and shadows of the understory, no one had noticed him. Now he leapt down and padded silently over to the sleeping man. He growled in his ear, Senor, 
The Kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Four tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man. Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And Senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will destroy that which gives us life. Several ant eaters climbed down the K-pop tree with their young clinging to their backs. The unstriped ant eaters said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future, and surely you know that what happens tomorrow depends upon what happens today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children, who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. A three-toed sloth had begun climbing down from the can canopy when the men first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground, plodding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man. She spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rain prophet, what would you feast your eyes? A child from the Yano Mamo tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over to the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with, this, with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him staring were the creatures who depended upon the great Kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air suspended from the great Tree. The man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor. But he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood up and picked up his axe. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. Suddenly he stopped. He turned looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated and he dropped his axe and walked out of the rainbow. 